welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, and manifestation. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw the message that I posted last night or yesterday, but this is pretty much the follow-up to that. Basically, just to recap, I went out with one of my girlfriends for dinner and we were just having lovely conversation. Afterwards, I got in my car. I was just expressing gratitude to the divine for the fact that her and I were able to have our friendship for so long and just the fact that we're able to sit and just vibe and talk to each other. It just now it feels it just fills me with so much gratitude so i was just sitting with the divine and expressing my gratitude for that and during that moment i had this amazing download about the quality of connections and the quality of our relationships and i knew that i should um, come here and share that with you guys i did get a sense that when i was sharing that message that there was going to be more to that and this is where we are today um, one of the things that spirit wants to add on to it in addition to that message is the fact that you are not going to be alone forever. Um, I don't know who specifically needs to receive this message and this confirmation of hope and, and faith in the future when it comes to the quality of the connections or even a connection in general, but you are not meant to be alone forever, that there is someone out there for you. And then there's plenty of people that are going to be out there for you. If you feel like you haven't met your person yet, if you feel like you haven't met your soulmate or your partner in crime or the partner it is that's meant to be with you in this life or your soul tribe or your soul community or your best friends or a, a community that just like is your match, please keep your eyes clear and your heart uplifted as much as you can because spirit works really quickly to bring those things together. If you are someone who recently had to go through a lot of upheaval when it comes to your personal and more intimate relationships, especially when it comes to family and friendships and definitely more intimate relations, this has nothing to do with work stuff right now. This is more about more intimate um, connections and having warmth around you. I understand that there's plenty of you guys who are looking for business connections and those types of things. I want that for you, 100%. But right now, Spirit is talking specifically about really intimate coming home type of connections. The feeling that you have when you see someone for the first time and you know that they're your person or they know that you're, they should be a part of your family or a friendship that is going to last you forever. There's certain people here that felt like they had that and they lost it. They felt like they found their best friend and the friendship crumbled recently, relatively recently. Um, people who have had or are healing from relationships that have crumbled that you thought you were going to spend the rest of your life with this person, marriages that are crumbling. There is this revelation that's happening um, right now that we're in the midst of these connections that should have that we thought were going to be important and valuable they're getting pulled away from us for a very reason for a very specific reason spirit wants to was first informing us that these connections are meant to melt away because they're not in it for the long haul they don't have the tool and the capacity because the baggage that they carry or where they're at in their lives is going to in impact in and heed you from progressing along your path and along your connections. This does not, Spirit wants to be so clear, this does not doom you to be solo dolo, isolated, or have to relive abandonment. Spirit does not want you to be alone on this earth. I have to say that again. Spirit does not want you to be alone on this earth. One more time. Spirit does not want you to be alone on this earth. The divine does not want you to be alone on this earth. There are people, like-minded souls and spirits, who are meant to come into your life and immediately embrace you. It will feel like warmth. It will feel like coming home. This has everything to do with those people who have been walking this path alone for quite some time, or when it comes to the more intimate connections, you have felt like you have gotten the shitty end of the stick again and again. Pardon my French, 
but I just want to be completely honest and 1000% forward with the message that it is I feel guided and called to share with you that's on my heart right now in this moment. You are not meant to live this world, to, tra to traverse this world, to walk this earth by your, by your lonesome. There's this energy that I'm feeling about coldness and being isolated and being without, without your people, without your community, without the love of your life, without friendship. And spirit, the divine, does not want that for you. It does not see that for you. It's going to work everything in its power in order to make sure that you are going to come into connection and come into alignment with those people who are meant that as soon as you see them, you know you're gonna feel the feeling of, I have come home, this is my person, it is undeniable. Now, the process to this has to look like there are certain people that are going to be forced or, or they're gonna be guided to exit out of your life. They're gonna look at you and know that you're an amazing person, but for whatever reason, and there is a specific reason, the divine plants that feeling in their spirit that regardless of how magical and amazing this person is, this is not my person and I, they're not even gonna be able to understand why they feel called to exit out of your life or to pull away or to push away. It's because there is something spiritually moving here to protect you and to bring you into alignment with the people or person that is meant for you. This is not something that is going to make sense because in your head you may think that logically if I'm an amazing person, why would this person who I want to be my person be called out of my life? Because spiritually there's something else out there, not, uh, not better for you, but literally it's going to be harmonious for you. It's gonna be amazing for you. So essentially it's going to be better, but spirit doesn't see things as good or bad or whatever, just sees it for what it is. It says that this is what I want for you. This is what I have for you. And if we have to put it this way in human logic, it is ultimately better for you, okay? So for some of you guys, I do understand that, I do want you to understand that there is going to be, or you may already be in, a period of coldness or isolation where you're wondering you're out in the cold and you're looking around like who's out there for me who is going to love me what is wrong with me there's nothing wrong with you spirit wants to confirm to you right now that there is nothing wrong with you continue to be who you are continue to be eccentric and to be uncomfortable in this moment because it's the same thing that makes you uncomfortable that is going to be the irritation and the the fuel that leads your steps to find people who feel maybe not necessarily exactly the same as you, but they know that there's a longing and a calling to find someone disconnection. Even as I'm saying this now, I feel the warmth of embrace around me. I feel it's coming up from my right side. It feels like there's this warm, this person who comes up and gives you this big hug because, and it feels like someone who recognizes you. I do not believe for one second that this will be someone from the past, although for a very small percentage of you, like 12%, there's a chance that this will be someone from your past who has been stripped away from you in your life. This is long past and they're coming back into alignment with you now, but they're a totally different person. So even if they are someone from the past, the way that they show up to you now is totally different and totally fresh than who and what they were before. Um, it is, a spirit wants to say that the reason why certain things are pulled out of your life is because the discomfort and the emptiness that you feel is going to be the thing that makes you start looking. It's going to be the thing that makes you so desperate that you start calling out to the spirit, start calling out to your angels, start calling out to God or the divine to ask for things that you couldn't necessarily do for yourself because spirit needs to have its hands of a hundred percent on how your future is going to project to look how your future is going to manifest it cannot exclusively come from you if you're someone who prays or writes in petitions or works with candle magic or sets intention those things have already happened you've done the work but now spirit the divine your angels and your guides has to do the rest of the work to bring this into fruition and to bring you into a place of discomfort enough so that you can completely be forced to surrender and ask for them to guide your steps in a way that totally defies your own human logic. I have to say that again, it's going to completely and totally defy your human logic. This means that you can't rest on your own knowledge in order for your steps to be guided into the space, the places, the people that you're being guided and led to right now. 
like I said in the very beginning of this video, as soon as you see these people and as soon as this person sees you or as soon as these people see you, it's going to feel like home. But in order for you to come back home, you have to and, and, and enjoy that feeling of coming back home. There does have to be that feeling of I want to go home. I want to be home. I want to be held. I want to be found. It's not until you feel that feeling and that discomfort in a space long enough that it, your soul calls for it and your soul longs for it so much that the call is so loud that it will finally and officially be responded to. I have to say this again, I'm sorry, but Spirit keeps having me repeat it, but it can only come from the spiritual realm. It can only come from the hands of the divine. It can only come from the great creator. It can only come from the great beyond. It can only come from the vastness. It's not gonna come from our logic. It's not gonna come from our own human understanding. That's what's going to reinforce the fact that this is so magical and this is so special. I have to bring it to astrology just for a little bit because I'm really big on astrology and astrological timing. Jupiter is exiting out of the sign of Pisces, a sign that rules our spiritual connections, our soulmate connections, and finding people and places and things and purposes that connect with unconditional love that defies and defeats all of the odds. At the final stages of Jupiter, Jupiter the planet that rules um, higher wisdom, higher knowledge, higher awareness, higher connection, like higher intelligence, right? At the final stages of Jupiter's transit through Pisces, it's going to bestow blessings and gifts, but it didn't come without its own lessons. It didn't come without a, 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 an interesting lesson filled season. And that for me has been the transit of Jupiter transiting through Pisces. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that we are in a season and, a, and a, a moment in our lives where the deeper connections, the soulmate connections are finally for once and for all falling together after things have had to fall apart. I want you guys so much to rely on your faith and optimism and hope. Something that literally is starting for many of you starting to dwindling or starting to dwindle because the light that once led you before that you were so excited to go seeking for, you may not have necessarily found it. In, in whole fruition, or if you did find certain lights, it didn't stay, it didn't linger. It was to get you to where it is that you are right now. And Spirit doesn't want you to lose faith or to lose hope in the direction that you've been led thus far. And that if you are in a space right now where you're feeling empty and hopeless and cold and left out and wondering, is this all that this will be for me? Is there, I guess at this point in this journey, I have to give up. I guess at this point, this will never happen. Spirit wants you to kind of balance this, the feeling of, okay, I surrender. I surrender into this without losing hope and what is happening and what will happen because it's, it's happening right now. You're not meant to be alone on this earth. You're not meant to walk this earth alone. You're meant to have warmth and a feeling of home in the people and the places that you go and the purpose that you live in this moment. Okay, I hope that this makes sense, my loves. I don't think that there's anything else that will come from this intuitive message. However, if there is, I did write down another message um, while I was getting ready for um, today. I wrote it down, um, but I'm gonna sit with it a little bit more and channel a little bit more on it and see what happens, see what bubbles up. But there's no rush for me when I do these intuitive messages. Um, they're downloads from the divine and I if I didn't feel led or called to say it um, in that moment it's because it's not time so I always respect timing because divine timing is always in the works and always at play I do want to say one thing really quickly I don't know why spirit is kind of like reaffirm wants me to reaffirm this right now that if you are really uncomfortable right now um, if you feel like just, I don't know if it's like sickness or just this feeling of cold, like you just really want to be embraced and held throughout thick and thin. Some of you guys look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I have this condition, I've got this going on, this makes it impossible for me to love, I'm not spontaneous enough, I don't like to travel, whatever it is that you believe. It, this is exactly what Spirit is saying is that they want you or the divine is so freaking considerate of your conditions, of your circumstances, of the, th the very things that it is that you feel like are unlovable or that someone would have to tolerate or have to compromise on, it's going to be your compliment. It, I'm telling you guys, I don't know why, but Spirit really wants you to understand that 
you're going to come into the space that feels like home. It's going to be a person. It's going to be a place. It's going to be a situation. It's going to feel like home. So there's nothing that you have to do or change. Think about it. When you get ready to go out into the world, you may do your makeup. You may put on certain clothes. You may put on your Nike, your Nikes, your Air Force Ones, whatever. Whatever it is that you got to do when you walk out of your house. But when you come home, what's the first thing you do? You take your bra off. You take your hat off. You get in the shower. You get comfortable. When you're sick, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to go home. When you're tired, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to go home. This is the thing, the place, the people, the person that it's like, I want to go home to you. I want to come home to you. This is it. I don't want you to change anything. If anything, I want you to be comfortable. So you being who you are, flaws and all, and that's the thing. You may think that you're, you're flawed. You may think that this is a compromise, but it's not. No one's going to tolerate no one's going to feel like they have to tolerate you. They're going to be like, yo, this is my compliment. This is my match. I don't know why sickness is coming through, but someone might have um, chronic pain or chronic depression or whatever the case is. But something about that that makes you so unique, that is a part of what makes your life your own, is going to be a direct compliment to someone else. And they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, yo, bestie, hug. Or they're going to be like, yo, soulmate hug you know what i mean i hope that this reading resonates and and meets you guys with divine timing and i really ho i'm really hoping and praying and setting intention that it uplifts your energy and uplifts your spirit especially if you've been feeling hopeless incomplete out in the cold like everything is just not working out or it's just never going to happen or you maybe you might be exiting out of something and wondering what the hell is going to be out there in the future you'd be surprised the warmth that is out there in the future you'd be surprised what's out there for you and Thank God that it's in the hands of the divine and the angels and the guides to bring it to your doorstep, to bring it to you or to call, to bring it to, into your heart so that you can go out and looking for it and calling out and being like, listen, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So last thing, last thing I promise, but if you could do me a favor and do yourself a favor, I want you to write down in the comments or write down on a piece of paper today's date. Um, the time that it is, the exact time that it is that you're writing doesn't have to, it's just your time frame. Like if you're in Eastern Standard Time or Pacific Standard Time, whatever it is, write down the exact time when you look at the clock and say, Dear Divine or Dear Universe or Dear God or Dear Heavenly Father or Dear Heavenly Mother, whatever it is that you, that you got, that you work with, say, I am so grateful for the path and the process. I trust you and I look to you. I am ready to come home. I am ready to come home and spirit will know and I want you to sign your name or put your initials or put your date of birth and that's all you have to do, okay? Either leave it down in the comments or write it on a piece of paper, hold on to it, fold it. If you put it in the comments, it's out there in the universe, okay? All right, my loves, I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for, you know, just vibing with me and if it's something that's called on your spirit, I'm just glad that you put it out there and the fact that you're seeing this right now is a, a call and response to something that is that you've already put out, which means that Clearly, we're responding. Clearly, something is responding, okay? I hope this makes sense. Franklin and I are going to go get our Snuggies on. And we will see you guys later in our next video. Bye -bye. Say bye. Queen Bee Homestead Co. is the cozy home of Queen Bee Homestead Body Butters. Each butter is created with all natural ingredients, including rich shea butter, creamy coconut oil, fragrant rose water, herbs, and high vibrational essential oils. The butters are then whipped to a decadent perfection, which you can use to naturally moisturize and protect your skin from the harsh elements, including UV rays from the sun and nourish and protect your hair. Explore the Small Homestead's website, where you'll find all of the best-selling blends ranging from Energy Clearing Bad Vibe Shield, which features pure lavender and sage essential oils, to the Warm Honey Goddess Body Butter, which features cardamom and actual honey. Shipping is fast to our friends in the US. Queen Bee Homestead Co., your source for simplicity, purity, and intentionality in your beauty essentials.